So here's an exercise I created to stretch the adductors and flexors of the thumb. Uh, this, can, this, this chunk of meat uh, here in the, in, on the palm can get quite tight if you're um, on the tools or if you're playing an instrument a lot, um, that can get, get quite locked up. So the way you're gonna stretch it is to start in the tuck position on the floor um, and I'm gonna externally rotate my hand until the thumb points towards my, my knee. So the, the fingers are actually pointing across my body now and the thumb pointing straight towards my knee or if you can get it to point towards the middle of your hips. Now from here, I'm gonna lean my weight into the thumb side of the hand, into that meaty part of the thumb. And from here, I'm gonna to start to bend the elbow towards the ground, keeping the weight shifted into the thumb and sending the elbow down towards the floor but also scooping away from me. Now, obviously the heel of my hand is up and off the ground now that I've bent my elbow a little bit. What I wanna do from here is try and keep it in the same position and bend the elbow more so it gets closer towards the floor. So what I mean by that is if I just allow it to keep peeling up and then I can just kind of drop back into my hips, the whole hand moves away. What I wanna do is try and lock that into place, forcefully keep the weight shifted into the thumb and then crank the elbow down towards the ground. So actively trying not to let this, the palm, come up off the floor any more than the position that it's in now. And there's a huge stretch. So 10 reps, just backing on and off, trying to get deeper every rep. And then on the 10th rep, I hold for, for 10 seconds. And you can obviously see the position that my thumb's in, that, that muscle is getting obliterated. When I'm doing this stretch, I'm not resting my forearm against the thigh here, just keeping it off, so it's an active position. After that 10 second hold, come out of it slowly, shake it out, do the other side.